Hey everybody, welcome to week one, uh, our first week of art class instruction, virtual art class instruction. Um, the purpose of this week is not to do anything super challenging or rigorous, but just to get used to um, the virtual platform we'll be using to organize what you have to do, where you find things, what the lesson is. Um, so that's kind of what we're looking at this week. Um, I'm going to take you through kind of a where you find things and how you you navigate what you have to do each week and that's what we'll start with today. So um, each week at, on Mondays you will want to go on to our Google Classroom and in the stream you can see there's going to be a week one lesson and materials there then will be a week two a week three on Mondays you'll be able to access this information. And if you click on it, you're going to see there are a bunch of resources. You're always going to want to start with this document that says Lesson Week 1. If you open it, I've created a document that organizes everything you have to do into one space. So you can see this is our Week 1 materials. The first thing you're going to want to look at is the Lesson to Do on the left corner. You can see there's five things that we're working on this week. We're just getting used to online learning just because this is so different. I have an intro video, which you're literally watching right now. You can see the link for it is over here. I wanted you to read over the class syllabus. I have a student teacher, Amanda, who you'll be interacting with. She has an intro video for you. And then we just want to check um, that you kind of did the activities. And our assessment is going to take the form of either a reflective journal that you write or a video journal. And I'll show you where you find those things as well. In this document, everything should be linked. So if I look here and I say, okay, first thing I need to do, I have to watch Amanda's video. If you click on her video, the link to the YouTube um, video is right underneath and you can go directly there. If there's any video resources you have to watch, those links will be right here. You can see our office hours are posted. We're in the afternoon from noon to four. You can email us directly and we'll try to get back to you as quickly as possible. We also have a class calendar that'll have week by week everything you have to do with the links all embedded in it. So you can see it's popping up right there. That'll be a resource for you. Um, over here is the assessment. So I'm someone who wants to be super duper clear about what I'm asking you to do. You can see that I'm asking you to respond um, to some questions using a journal or video journal. And it's out of three points that I'll be looking for. Are you addressing the questions? Are you making sense? I can understand you. And did you either generate writing or a video? And then those points will always be posted on Friday. Down here is kind of a suggested schedule. So I suggest this week you review the lesson, you read through the syllabus, you watch Amanda's video, you generate your response in the classroom. And then on Fridays, we always will be posting how you did an infinite campus. So you can know if you have to redo anything or you're kind of missing the mark. One thing I do want to show you in our syllabus. So again, everything's linked for you. So this is kind of the description of how you earn credit. You can see that um, the way it's worded is pretty ambiguous. It says to earn credit, students need to attempt class content. The teacher will give feedback. Students can always have the opportunity to reduce stuff. So the way it's written is because we really don't know how the year is going to progress. But as long as you attempt some of the projects we're asking you to do, you should be able to earn credit. So just putting energy and effort is the way to move forward. You can see there's three things we'll look at. We're looking at online activities, some looking at history and culture of ceramics, and then the reflective online journal. Office hours are linked over here. There is a note if we return to school, we'll switch to actually making ceramics versus online content. So just be aware of that. And this is something I definitely want you to be aware of that um, I'll introduce stuff on Monday. You have multiple days to work on it. The projects are actually always due on Thursday. And like I said, we will assess and post an infinite campus on Fridays. So just some things to note about that. So once you've kind of gone through the lesson, always due on Thursday, assessed on Friday. If you go back to the classroom, you can see that there's a journal and something called a flip grid. So for the journal, Basically, if you click on it, it's going to give you a bunch of prompts that we want you to think about. So these are questions 
for the beginning of the week. So the questions you have are, what are you most excited about to explore in the area of ceramics? What challenges will online learning present for you in your life? What questions do you have about earning credit? And what questions do you have for Amanda after watching her video? So you can type a response there. If you're someone who does not want to type, there's something called Flipgrid. It'll ask you to log in with your school Gmail. So make sure you do that. And the same questions are here. And you just hit that plus and it'll allow you to record a response. So that's if you do not want to type it, you just want to record it. That is an option for you. Okay. So you can see in terms of how this will work each week, you'll get this list of documents. You want to open the lesson, go through the to-do list where the arrow is, follow each step. And then I, we will assess one of these two things. We'll assess if you did a journal or we'll assess if you did a video journal to earn credit for that week. And then we'll move into the next activity. So hopefully that's super duper clear. If you have any questions, please reach out and email me. So I wanted to close today with just a couple um, reminders. One is my office hours are noon to four daily. So you can email me directly. You can also email my student teacher, Amanda. We're both here to support you. Feel free to reach out if it's not clear what you have to do or you're confused by the content. Please, please, please reach out. Um, I'm sure you read this in the syllabus that you're gonna review, but if you didn't catch it, the online content rolls into your um, percentage of earning credit if we do return to school. So you do want to attempt the class content online. Um, some people may be thinking, oh, I just don't do this online stuff. When I go back to school, um, I'll just kind of start school again. We want you to attempt the online content. It's all part of the same passing percentage. So um, just give it your best. And again, reach out if you're confused. And the last thing I'll say is, um, we will be taking online attendance on Fridays and the way that's going to look is just that we had some sort of connection communication with you during the week whether that was an email whether I see you submitted your journal prompt um, just some sort of sign that you're engaging with the class content will get you attendance for the week. Um, I'm really excited to work with you this quarter. Um, please don't hesitate to email me with any questions or concerns, or especially if this doesn't make sense. I'm new to this too, so I'm happy to help you, and I'm here for you, and I'm here to support you. So thanks so much. Bye.